Hi guys, how is everyone doing? I haven't done a sit down video in the longest time and I thought, well yeah, Coco thought I should you know give you guys um, a life update. Um, I was gonna do it until, um, I was gonna wait until Vlogtober was finished but you know some days of Vlogtober you're literally doing nothing and oops so yeah, some days of Vlogtober you're literally doing nothing and um, to be honest I'm just getting very lazy at this vlogging thing and you know I do apologise I, I need to get my life together um, so this is gonna be like a life update chit chat get ready with me um, I've done my eyebrows off camera just because yeah my eyebrows haven't been playing ball lately like they have just had their own agenda and I'm like so this is the best I can do for now and this will have to do but every time I've tried doing my eyebrows for the last few weeks it's just like yeah it's just not happening for me guys I really don't know why but it is super super irritating um how are you guys doing oh my God, can you see how I, like look down look up and i keep on looking at you guys like like you guys are here i swear being being like um a youtuber and filming sometimes it's just like you go crazy but yeah i'm talking to you guys i'm talking to you um as you guys can see my hair has changed um <laughs> funny story guys um yesterday now i bleached my hair well, Coco was bleaching my hair, and then, um, well, okay, let me say from the beginning. I've been growing my hair for a while now, you guys know that, and um, my hair actually grows pretty quickly, and it was going well. I think I didn't have a haircut for about three months, well, the top anyway, and, you know, I just, I just wanted to do something different. I was getting tired of going to the barbers and just saying 0 0.58 basically and i decided i was like you know what i want something different and for coco's birthday as you guys know we like celebrate the whole month blah blah blah, blah. so i just wanted like a new look and um coco was like oh okay why don't you just grow out your hair and then we'll do it blonde and i was like, okay cool so basically that's what we did and the first time i actually bleached my hair you guys oh it was the most painful experience of my life like oh it, <clears throat> i don't even know like half of the stuff half of the stuff half of the stuff or half of the things half of the things that we do for the sake of beauty is just not even worth it but yeah i literally set myself on fire like my hair was on fire i was burning i was running outside like i'm a crazy person and it was just it was just a madness in it but after obviously everything is done, after the bleaching, dyeing, whatever, you know, you have your fresh little haircut and you, you know, feel like, oh my God, <laughs> I look cute. It's like, yeah, whatever. All worth it. But guys, yeah, it was like the worst experience. My head was on fire. And I'm going to tell you why. Now, some of you guys were like, no, Mercy, you're not supposed to do it that way. Oh, ta -ta -ta. yeah, whatever. Like, I did it anyway, so I'm going to tell you. So, my hair was black and I wanted it to have, you know, that like curly texture. So, um, I basically texturized my hair. Yeah. I texturized my hair and then on the same day, texturized my hair, bleached my hair, dyed my hair. I was, you know, out there, outside running like a crazy person. And after everything was done, it looked really, really good. So, um, the problem with these hairstyles, guys, like after like, two weeks you actually have to repeat the same process so yesterday now um i basically bleached my hair again and then i dyed it all on the same day again why i don't know but i did it anyways and then now i finished washing washing my hair bleaching everything and i'm like okay i'm done like the process is done I'm, you know, drying my hair with a towel and why do I see like clumps of hair on the towel? Um, to be honest, I knew what I was doing wasn't the right thing to do anyway, but I did it anyway. So like, I didn't freak out anything. I wasn't bothered. I just said to myself, you know what, you know, if it has to be, then I'm going to go to the barbers and just get a haircut because yeah, it was all mad. But as you guys can see, we still got the hair. The hair is still here. So we thank God for that. 
as you guys know i'm jobless and um, i do live at home so at the moment i'm just you know i'm side hustling you know i'm just trying you know everything to kind of like get this mula so i'm using all of my talents to kind of just gather up you know some money and um For you guys that have me on Snapchat, you would know that, you know, I part-time, well, I do makeup um, as of when I can. So usually, um, you know, some of you guys will pop up and you'll be like, oh, you know, Mercy, can you do um, my makeup? So after, like, you know, a bit of persuasion, I decided to actually, you know, take it seriously and just use my skills to earn some coins so um i am taking bookings guys for makeup for any of you guys that want to slay hunty i am here to you know help you out with that i am literally like the slay queen tooth fairy in it like yeah guys i can be a face i'll tell you that much i can be a face so um so yeah um, I do makeup and I also, well, we have a catering business. I'm actually a very good cook. I've been told that so many times. So, um, I do catering, well, yeah, I do, I do catering with Coco and Mum. But yeah, I'm doing, I'm catering as well, which has been going really, really well. So I'm just basically, right now, I'm just taking buckings and, you know, with you guys' support, everything has been going so good. Like, I'm not even gonna, like front everything has been going so good you guys are like super super supportive like i don't even know like i can't thank you guys enough so my main focus though is going to university um 2019 i'm actually like super super excited um i've applied to um i've applied to a few unis and um now like everyone's responding and you know we're getting the responses back um as of yet i don't know you know where my destiny lies but um i've got my fingers crossed and i'm like super i'm actually excited to actually go back to uni and make something of my life obviously now because you know i have isaiah like that's even like you know the more reason why i should be motivated this time to actually go to school and just get it done, over and done with because as you guys know yeah i've been like a free spirit for the longest time in it like i have been a free spirit i've been living and you know now i have a child like i can't continue being a free spirit like i can't continue just living life on the edge like it's not mature like it's not it's just not in my best interest that would actually me be that would be me being like a very like irresponsible um parent or just a pass an irresponsible person in general like it's, it's just like once you like start having kids and stuff like that there's just certain things that just won't cut it and not having a career is one of them so i am just making sure that um i pattern myself um and i go to university and i think you know more than anything as part from doing it for myself more than anything it would really make mum happy because um as you guys know when i was pregnant with isaiah it was not you know she was upset and um it wasn't because i was pregnant with isaiah the reason why she was upset is because you know i hadn't um made anything of my life for me to even you know start having kids um she's always wanted us to have our careers in check first before having kids so um when isaiah came about as 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 much as it was you know a surprise it, you know she was disappointed and yeah she just she just you know thought like okay like you haven't done anything with your life so like you know like what are you gonna do like what are you doing with yourself and um funny enough um we were chatting in the last vlog when she was you know saying that she never thought isaiah would change me or i would change because you know isaiah was now in my life but isaiah has had such like a positive um she's just had a positive um role to play in my life in general i just feel like since i've had her i'm just a different person um so many things that used to bother me don't even bother me anymore do you know what i mean um yeah so since isaiah has come into this world you know my little baby which makes me so emotional man like 
I am a different person and I'm genuinely trying to grow emotionally, spiritually, you know, like on all levels like i'm trying to like grow i'm trying to mature i'm trying to be the best um oops, my foundation's finished i'm basically just trying to be the best person i can you guys and um every day i wake up and i'm just like come on messy like you know what can we change today what can we do today um i have to think about, i have to think a lot about things now before i actually um do them whereas before me like i wasn't even bothered i would just yeah i was you know i was a free spirit i'll just go wherever the you know wherever the wind blows is like where i am and but now it's, everything has changed and you know mama saying she now sees like a softer side to me like um you know like a a more mature um mercy and it's all because of isaiah basically he was just done a lot in my life and oh i don't know you guys i don't know like i don't even know what to say like you guys know i'm not like an emotional person well i am an emotional person like but i'm not good with words i'm more of a crier than a talker basically so if i'm angry i'll cry if i'm happy i'll cry if i'm sad i'll cry if i'm excited i will cry so you know on this emotion talking thing like you know like bear with me i'm i'm learning i'm learning but yeah so yeah since isaiah has come into my life guys yeah um i have to say like i'm a different i'm a different person and i'm actually quite proud of the person that i'm you know of the person that i'm becoming is this like why do i look like blooming oompa loompa like i look orange what is this oh god this is why i never do get ready with me guys because i have like a specific place where i sit and i do my makeup and it comes out the way i want it to come out like i don't know it's just something about this room and where i sit and the way i do it but somehow when i do it on camera I just no it just never comes out right i'm so over it but anyways i got somewhere to be in it and oh, and I just have to carry on. So we're just gonna see what happens basically. But well, right now I just look orange, you know, like whatever. Whatever. So yeah. Um on the subject of of Isaiah, um, you guys know that her dad's come back in her life. Um I told you that. Um we were <laughs> Oh gosh, <laughs> we were co-parenting, um, but since then that's gone out the window, mate. Like <laughs> me. <laughs> oh gosh, yeah, we're not co-parenting anymore. I am not co-parenting my baby dad anymore. Um, my mum is actually co-parenting with him, <laughs> so my mum is co-parenting with my baby dad, and I don't know. It's just <laughs> Ah, guys, I think we'll have to like do like a proper sit down like video on like trying to like go buried and blah blah blah. It's just because it's just long. Like me personally, I couldn't do it in it. It was just giving me stress. Like it was actually giving me stress, and my skin. I, I swear, guys. Yeah, like it was just giving me stress. Like even my skin's got pimples. Like I'm breaking out everywhere just because of stress, and I wasn't going to kill myself. Like I just wasn't going to do it. And I tried the whole co-parenting thing like it wasn't for me it didn't work so as i do you guys know i never go through these things on my own i'm just yeah i'm i just i'm one of those people i don't know how like i end up like dragging everybody into my like problems like everyone in this house yeah ugh, i'm just i just feel sorry for like my mom and coco because they just end up getting dragged into my ish and i'm like i am such like a troublesome you like i don't even know like trouble follow me literally I'm very like troublesome and that's like one of the things that I've recognized about myself is that like I actually just bring myself problems all the time so now I'm no longer co-parenting somebody had to do it so um mum stepped up and she was like I will I will do it and basically what happens now um basically we just had to put a few boundaries between you know um in our co-parenting situation um we just had to put boundaries in place and mum suggested that you know put boundaries in place and as you guys know whatever my mum says goes to be honest like i told you guys like since i've had a baby like i know everything she's saying is for my best interest like 
you know when i was younger we just used to bump heads and i used to fight her over the silliest of things and now like i'm older and i'm a mom myself like i really like get her on another level just like she gets me basically so yes yeah, i was obviously telling her like okay this is what's going on and you know mom suggested that you know um for the for isaiah's interest best interest we put boundaries in place and that you know she will step in and do the co-parenting with my baby father which so far has been like so good like it's amazing like i am sane um i have a peace of mind and he's got boundaries and you know he's um clearly getting along better with my mom than he was with me and um it's working fine um yeah he still comes to He still comes to see Isaiah. Um, we don't really have like a set schedule, really and truly like as of when he wants to and as of when he can and as of when mum is available to to um do for them for them to meet. Um if she's at home then um but usually, you know, she works at home Monday, Fridays and then she's here Saturday and Sunday. So it really it's up to him to choose any of those days to come and see Isaiah when she's here. And um he um does come in he does come and see her which is which is nice and um i'm glad that um you know he can have a relationship with his daughter and um just good for them like that's good for um it's good for isaiah it's good for him for the minute guys yeah i'm happy for them but um that's what's been going on with that um if you guys have like any questions for me like on any of the things I've like touched up on because I know the video um, is pretty much everywhere but I'm just like talking off the top of my head like what I've been up to and what I've been doing and um, I know you guys you know would want to know about you know the co-parenting situation because I have been quite open um, with my life and you know that situation and what's going on so you know sometimes you know it's only right to let you guys in on what's going on and um if you never know someone may be going through like a similar situation and you can you can you know relate to me and i always like it when you know you guys you know tell me that you know we you can relate to me just like i can obviously relate to some of you guys because you have the same stories as me and you have been through some of the things that i've been through so it's always it's always nice um but so yeah um you know i like it when you guys are like oh i'm messy you know we can relate and you know i can relate to you i'm going through the same thing and all of that and um when it comes to like co-parenting and stuff i i personally think like if you can't do it because it is hard i'm not gonna lie you yeah, guys like i was saying um i was saying co-parenting is like really really hard um especially if you're a first time parent and you are new to this no not even when you're oh pardon me not even when you're like a first time parent you guys just think co-parenting in general no matter you know age like it's just it's just difficult because um unless obviously you and the person you have a child with have a good relationship um it's never going to be like a smooth sailing thing anyway they are going to be bumps in the road um but however if you know you find the situation too stressful for you like i was finding my situation a bit too stressful for me um i definitely think you should um consider like having um someone that you trust um someone that you obviously have a good relationship with to um kind of step in and be your advocate which is what mum is doing for me and um I'm not one of those, you know, people like I would me I would never bother anyone's life in it. Like I would just do what makes me happy. Um I would just do what I think is best for me. Um and for you as well if you can't think for yourself or if you can't see it. But so far like the decision I've made has been amazing. It's been fabulous. Um I'm having I have my sanity. I have, you know, um, I have peace of mind, you guys, and that's all I ever want in life is to just have peace of mind. Me, I don't want no stress. And the thing is, um, I definitely think um, in your co-parenting relationship, if 
there is a lack of respect um i think respect is like a big thing like respect goes a long way you guys if there's no respect then there's no way that you can kiki with someone and co-parent with someone like it's not it it won't happen um but definitely you know um like i'm saying someone you trust someone who that person will respect whether they want to or not but they will respect and in my situation like that's what it is like um if basically you can't respect me in it like you will have to respect my mother like that's just that that's just that but yeah that's basically um what's happening that's basically what's happening with that um but on a lighter note on a lighter note um i'm back in the dating game you know yeah man's out here dating and um it's just it's it's um dating has anything changed not really like men are still trash um you you know bump into like so many different people dating to be honest yeah it's just it's still the same in it it's just like <laughs> i just i just can't like i just actually i cannot yeah you meet some people that are just not so nice so um you just need to be woke ladies just be woke and um in my relationship see how i can't do two things at the, at the same time now i've stopped but yeah in my relationship my relationship journey i would say like when i was a lot younger like my dating life was shambles like i could not you know separate the good guy from the bad guy and you know i couldn't separate um i wasn't able to kind of separate my um emotions with you know i wasn't able to not emotions per se but i wasn't able to um you know can you know that thing where you like no it's not right but you think with your heart yeah i'm so, I'm a hearty person so most times i think with my heart and i don't go with what my head is telling me but um now it's like completely different um i think i used to i used to have a very disturbing um view or outlook on relationships and um at that time um i can't really kind of pinpoint on what exactly i was looking for in a man um but i think it was just like yeah i think um yeah i think i just used to have very disturbing relationships um i used to have a disturbing view and outlook on you know what your boyfriend or your man is supposed to be do you get what i'm saying um i think at that time i was just basically looking for love in the wrong places and um i just needed to um love myself first and get to know me and um as i'm maturing and getting to know mercy um i now know what i like what i don't like what i will stand for what i will not stand for like you guys i'm a lot more firmer and i'm okay with letting people go which um which i would say like when i was younger i wasn't able to let people go i think like there's so many things happen when you no know, when i was younger like in terms of like relationships and people coming into your life and people going and people passing away like it was just a lot for me therefore i just kind of had this strange you know attachment to things that i e men so yeah i had like a very like strange you know way of att attachment to men and it's Oh, gosh, I can't believe I'm actually saying this out loud, but now like I know myself like and I know me and what I deserve and I know my worth Um, I definitely don't I'm definitely not looking for love in the wrong places and I'm definitely woke and um, I'm I'm happy to let people go like I just sometimes, you know, just let God like that's that's my new like outlook in life is like just let it be let god like he will take care of everything and everything happens in its own time um you shouldn't really force things or trying to you know just go with something you know in your heart is not what's right but you do it anyway but yeah these days i definitely definitely um i'm a lot more put together when it comes to relationships so um dating 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 is fun you know like i'm saying you meet so many different people but um mum always tells me that in relationships um you definitely have to have your non negotiables and your negotiables and um you know if someone doesn't um kind of meet the criteria of what you're looking for then cut it like cut it cut it
cut it like let it go there's nothing wrong in just sometimes just letting things things go and you know sometimes like that's okay like that it, it's actually okay and you will be okay um but i know guys we're getting to that age now where it's all about oh my god husbands getting married or blah 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 but anyway me i already ruined that anyway because yeah i had i've done everything backwards i've had a baby i've got no man and <laughs> oh my god ah you know me when i think of my life you guys just don't understand yeah i think maybe this is one thing you guys don't know about me i don't take myself seriously at all like in the words of Bob Risky, like I'm not gonna kill myself. Like I'm not gonna put so much, you know, pressure on myself to have like certain things when I haven't really achieved much in life. I think, but I need to like focus more on education and things that actually build me as a person, as opposed to looking for a man and a husband. Like that's not like where like I really am in life right now. Like. I'm not there like there's so many other things to focus on other than the relationships in it but like I'm saying I'm not, there, there is a pressure after a certain age like I'm 24 this year um some things happen a lot quicker for other people than others and that's also okay do you know what I'm saying like everything happens in its own time but yeah um I'm not putting pressure on myself to kind of um find you know the husband or whatever I'm just going with the flow i'm working on myself you know i have got so many things that i need to achieve before even thinking of of marriage and all that higa haga like nah but yeah i've pretty much done everything backwards had a kid no man no job <laughs> my life is actually so sad <laughs> i guess what guys my life may be sad here but i'm happy like i'm still smiling can you actually just see like see see me like this is joy happiness lives here like i don't sh like literally like guys i'm gonna tell you this year because this video is gonna be so long but i need to cut it but i'm just gonna say in life like please guys do not stress yourself like do not stress yourself everything will happen when it's meant to happen in it like i'm telling you this for sure from experience sometimes when you think your life is going bad just know that someone else out there is going through a thousand times worse than what you're going through or what you could ever go through now i'm not saying compare situations because no situation is the same everyone you know is in a different boat and but i'm just saying like sometimes as a young person do not be too hard on yourself and um oh another thing you actually this is the last thing i want to talk about um you guys may have seen me you know going out and stuff like that and um as a young mom i think having respite and having a break from the baby is is very good but i find it funny how every time like i'm out i always get like one person who's like where's the baby guys i spend 24 hours with isaiah sometimes you know but obviously so i'm talking about respite innit? i spend so much time with isaiah you guys don't understand and sometimes when you have a newborn there they are times when they get quite annoying you know like it, you get you get tired like as a mom like you get drained and you, it's just it's tiring and i think you know you just need to give yourself a break and that's what my family allows me to do they allow me respite they allow me to have a break from parenting because a apart from you know my new label as a mom i'm also a master individual so i need to also like take care of my needs you know um it may sound a bit selfish but well it's true i need to to <laughs> Coco always laughs at this in it but in order for me to be happy in order for isaiah to be happy i need to be happy but yeah i you know i'm all about like you know mom mom is always telling me this as well like take care of yourself like don't kind of just let yourself go and just think like you know now you're a mom like it's all about just the baby and looking after the baby and oh i'm a parent can't do this can't do that like no um, my mother does um mom and coco allow me a respite and uh you know mom the most allows me um respite because obviously when me and coco are going out we're going out together and she's the one who has isaiah and um she allows me to you know kind of just still you know live my life um as if you know before i've before i had isaiah and it's actually like really really fun and you know i just find it funny how some people would actually mum shame me for that 
um me with the mum shamers like i'm not on it like i'm not interested like next like seriously go find something else to do like not here but yeah my family allows me respite and i think it's like i'm so grateful for that and um guys if you are a new mum or just a mum in general me i'm always making reference to new mums in it because i am a new mum i've been in this game for three months and every time i as i, I wake up and as i is still alive i'm like whoo I'm actually doing an okay job because I call myself a BTEC parent. Um, I think just with the general looking after a child, it's not hard, it's easy, you can do it. But there's other things that come with babies that are just like, yeah, that can be a whole separate video that, you know, as a new mum, like you just wouldn't know. Um, the other day, um, as I was going for her jabs, um, the first time she went for them, I went with her. And I found I found the situation quite difficult to be honest I was just like oh gosh like I don't want to do this again and like I'm saying um, in my family like we're all like you know we're stuck together like glue so mama she took a day off and she took Isaiah to get her jabs and you guys it's the little things like that actually just mean like a lot like it's just it's the little things you guys it's the little things but yeah I've been you know out and about and you know just kind of living my best life being mass the individual again and yeah it's fun it's actually really really fun and i'm enjoying myself and i see some of you that have clocked or mum has told you that this is the month as i was conceived yes as i was conceived in october and um <laughs> And um, there's about 10 days nine days till october is finished and mum's like whoo i've baskets I think she was just scared that you know during this month of living our best lives just like last year i was gonna come back and be like mom i'm knocked up but no guys my legs are crossed shut like seriously these ovaries like nah they're out they're out of hours you guys they, they're not working like nah rusty i'm good i'm okay so yeah, no baby number two, wouldn't you like to know? Nine days to um, October is finished. So mum says, you know, every time, you know, I come back from an hour, she just wants to give me a pregnancy test. <laughs> oh my God, like what is she actually like? Like I actually cannot even deal. But guys, um, I'm going to finish off my makeup off camera because the video is going to be too long and I'm not even done. Like what is this? But I think I'll just show you guys, you know, once I've like done everything, I'll show you like the final look. But as for now, like I'm going to bounce out because I can't do two things at the same time. I genuinely, genuinely cannot, um, as you guys can tell, because now I'm sat here chatting to you guys and yeah, no makeup. But today I'm going to film videos for you guys. Isn't that exciting? Ah, yay! Ooh, ah. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm so high of life, you guys. I'm just like this day, yeah. I'm just so happy. Like <laughs> you guys, like I will not let anything like stress me. Like I'm just like so happy. Like I've just got a peace of mind, and that's all I can ever ask for. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this channel, guys, do not forget to like comment and subscribe as you guys can see our family is getting bigger and bigger by the day and i just want to say thank you thank you thank you so much to everybody i appreciate every single one of you so much and yes do not forget to like comment and subscribe share the channel with your friends family just share 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 we're on our journey to 5,000 now how exciting but yeah we recently reached 4k and thank you guys for that um i will be doing a giveaway um i'm actually putting up um putting in i'm actually um arranging um you know just the logistics of everything um with coco to just see you know if we can just do this as quickly as possible but it will be like a newborn slash postpartum um like a hamper giveaway you know just those kind of items um you know um having a baby not easy it's hard and babies are expensive so every little helps and yeah so guys i will catch you guys in my next video bye